Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We're talking Chanel Cruise Collection, Los Angeles, Venice Beach, 2023 slash 2024. Barbie chic, fantastique, honey. We're gonna analyze what the Chanel website just dropped. Prices, images, colors. We are going to go through all of it today in this video. Accessories, you know, the costume jewelry, shoes, and the other accessories, meaning, you know, hats, towels. We're gonna live that Los Angeles Chanel Barbie life together. First and foremost, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Silver Dega Ball spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week and you're all welcome to join the fun. Since this is a Chanel related video, be sure to also follow me on my Chanel fan Instagram account, DacobCC, all spelled together for special treats. All right, let me shift to the side, honey. We're gonna cue in the first picture. Now, price is included. Okay, chat, let me tell you. <laughs> Metal resin, strass, gold, multicolor, and cristal, honey. So I, I ain't pierced. I am, I am a, um, I, I am wearing a Chanel 90s, a 24 gold plated costume jewelry star uh, earring to homage the city of stars, the Hollywood vibe, the Los Angeles collection, right? But uh, I am a, a clip-on person. These are, you know, so anyway, 900, <laughs> the price is Chanel, uh, yes, $925. Um, we've seen this before, it's been done before. I love the lilac, lavender, pink, rose vibes sure you know chanel does pink like nobody's business sure bush bush um really plus tax so we're o over a thousand dollars for plastic yeah chanel so earrings like these a couple of years ago would have cost 300 400 dollars still too much but now we're at a thousand dollars really okay We'll go, we'll go. Uh, looks more like it's for children, says Smurfette. They look like earrings, says five foot nothing. It looks like merch. Of course it looks like it is merch. It's, it's Chanel merch. For them, this is peanuts, by the way. This is merch prices as Chanel. Um, okay. So, I was gonna say it looks like a kid project. <laughs> uh, yes, gosh, get a life. Resin, honey. Okay, Gosh Got a Life tries to make it be like, no, not plastic, resin. Um, resin is plastic. It's just that Chanel tries, just like, just like they're going to use words like the aspirational client instead of saying poverty. Uh, they're also going to say resin instead of plastic because it just sounds more elevated. It makes plastic sound like it's worth more. Marketing, honey, marketing. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. I've noticed quite a few people uh, starting to use that phrase as well in their videos, including some people who talk about jewelry and who throw shade at other luxury YouTubers who allegedly have fake jewelry. Somebody's been watching. Moving on, next picture. Pendant earrings, again, in the resin. Um, $875, this is really bad. And it's, you know what's really bad about this? Listen, I'm all for this kind of little sketched out Chanel number no. five bottle, live in ferret, like live in ferret. I just don't like this random little tiny nugget of a crystal, just randomly like, here, I get it. They put it there because it's supposed to be the wax seal for the badrouchage. But this, honey, what, what is that? It looks like there's a chip in the bottle. No. And also that, well, now we'll go, we'll go. So anyway, pendant earrings, still not clip-ons. 
still just uh, perforation, <laughs> perforation, the recalibration perforation, uh, pierced earrings. Now, it is giving me all oh, cut out from a fashion magazine. This is the old school Chanel number no. five bottle uh, extrait from the 50s and 60s because the stopper is thinner. So it's kind of giving me that 50s, 60s vibes, but then like made into 80s. It's a bizarre combo. I'm not really liking all of the added layers. You know, listen, 800, listen, Linda, $875 plus tax. Just take away the crystals. We don't need them and makes this, make this thing cost 500. You know what I mean? Because they think they can charge you more because of the crystals. Take them off. We don't need them. They're tacky AF. They actually make this thing look fake and then make this thing cost less. A little bit more simplicity, Linda. Um, so, I grade school teacher vibe, says Ollie. Advent calendar vibe, says Shinashi. Gloria says, don't know why, but I want googly eyes on it. <laughs> it's giving DIY project. Anyway, Virginie Via, find her on Etsy. All right, moving on to the next picture. We got a ton of pictures to go through, so I wanna, okay. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm taking too much time for this. So let's just kind of speed it up. Thumb up the video. Cause honey, you ain't going to find other commentary on this ratchet old YouTube. Like you can find here about Chanel. So enjoy. Thumb up. Help a girl out. Thank you. $650 for this thing plus tax. Uh, the crystals here are embedded in the plastic. A little bit of a three-dimensional moment there. Cute. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, would buy. Oh, little rhyme. Not gonna lie, I would buy if they were clip-ons. Yes, I would buy these. These I would buy. Sorry, I know, I'm, I'm a sucker for this stuff. I would actually buy these if they were clip-ons, okay? So, call me Kreskin. These are a steal, says Sylvia, right? The, the, the price is right. Um, it's giving me Hobby Lobby vibes, says Ray Blair. Kev says, at least the crystals won't fall off. Exactly. The crystals are encapsulated inside of the resin. Plastic, honey. The resin. I, I would buy, not going to lie, if they were clip-ons. But we'll go, we'll go. I might go to the Chanel boutique and just ask them, hey, do you also have a clip-on version? Sometimes they do. So anyway, yes, I'm a sucker for this stuff. I think this is actually cute as tacky as it looks. Anyway, that's just me being very honest here. Moving on. Okay, the gators and not the alligators, <laughs> the leg warmers, not the shoe. You're going to get a mixed fiber, which means, you see, look, whoever before said it's resin, it's not plastic. Look, look, look what they're doing here. Look what they're doing here. Uh, they're not saying it's acrylic. They're not saying it's acrylic. They're not saying it's synthetic. They're also not saying it's cotton because it's not cotton. They think it sounds more elegant if they call it mixed fibers. So you get this little thing, which is not even cotton, for $250 plus tax. It also comes in other colorways, black and blah, blah, blah. Very 80s vibes. Cute, but not cute enough to warrant a whole purchase. Plus me with my thick calves, honey, I would look like a, like a pig that's lost in the rodeo if I wore this, but you gotta, be, you gotta have that skinny little leg, uh, not chunky like me. So anyway, um, 250 plus tax, you get two of these. Is that really a calf? Well, <laughs> tiny one. So anyway, next. David Mars is waiting for the resin bib earrings, right? So, okay, I wanted to show you this one from the back because of the clunky heel, but it, they come in two different colorways. Uh, so here you can kind of see how they look from the side, but the back is what makes them look really massive. $2,000, okay, you know, with the tax added to what, 2200 depending which state you're in, but the combat boots, the butts, for over $2,000, honey. Now, I know, I know some suckers are gonna love the fact that they can show off that it says Chanel in the back and they're gonna love even more that they're gonna tell you, but you know, it's so subtle because it's black on black. They didn't paint the Chanel logo in white. So it's more elegant, honey, there's nothing elegant about this shoe. So anyway, it is offensive. Um, moving on. 
Just my opinion. Which one? Cha, the sports set. Ha! <laughs> For eight hundred dollars. Now here they say it's cotton. Okay, we'll go, we'll go. Not mixed fiber. So we got a cotton towel. We got the little sweat things for the, the wrist sweaters and uh, the uh, thing sweater. Oh, very 80s. Very Barbie. Probably comes in a plethora of colors. It's just, you know how the Chanel website is. They only show you a select few pieces. There's more stuff in the boutiques. Discover more creations in the boutiques, it says right here. So I'm sure there's a pink version of this. You know, cute. You know, cute. You know, a little Barbie pink moment. But... $800 plus tax. Um, yeah, jazzercise. <laughs> uh, Bed Bath and Beyonce says, hello, Louie. D. Higginbotham is like, not, we'll go, we'll go. Quiet luxury. Anyway, moving on. Okay, here I have uh, something to show you. The bucket hat in cotton, black, pink, and yellow. They have stitched the Chanel logo here. $1,225 plus tax. So we're th we're looking at $1,300, $1,400. This is ugly for this price. Hear me out. You want something pink, you want something Barbie. I got you covered. Cotton bucket hat, Barbie, with the, it's not printed, it's a beautifully a little stitched moment right there, okay? Look at this gorgeous patented, you know, copywritten Barbie pink. This is the bucket hat. Six dollars. Not Etsy. It's, um, it's original Barbie. It's from the movie. So we are talking original merchandise, licensed, licensed much, six bucks. I prefer this a billion times to that. For this price, I mean, sorry. There's like no comparison. No comparison. This is actually cute, living for the late 70s, early 80s Barbie font. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. That would not go, would not go for that price. I'm sorry. Chanel, you lost me there. It's a bucket hat, for crying out loud. Um... All right, moving on to the next one. The hair accessory, $625. You can actually detach this little twilly uh, from the scrunchie. Now, the last time I purchased one of their hair accessories was Cruise 2021. So it's three cruises ago. $380. $380, $400. Now they charge you $625. Silk Jacquard, black and multicolor, and there's other colors available. Y'all, would not go, would not go. Chanel, it's the pricing for me. No, you know. Now, all of these, you see how they're kind of um, making the different colors for every Chanel letter? Uh, we've seen it also on the bucket hat. Remember, I got a pair of sunglasses uh, from the Beverly Hills limited edition boutique collection. These came out right as the fashion show was shown around six months ago. And uh, in fact, these were uh, exclusive only to the Beverly Hills Chanel boutique. But then later on, a limited amount was also available online and now they're sold out everywhere. This is why I'm showing them to you because uh, this is, that's, that's the vibe, you see? Look, it's the same exact color combo. The yellow, the yellow C, oh, oh no, it's not the same color combo. What am I talking about? So anyway, not the same color combo, but it is a, <laughs> um, anyway, a queen. So, but that's the vibe of the um, cruise collection. You know, very Barbie-esque, living for these. I wear them a lot. I adore them. And they come in this little pouch with the double C in pink. It's a special boutique exclusive with, the double C here is, is in pink only for these shades. So anyway, that's the vibe. Okay, so just showcasing some, some special little limited edition pieces. Moving on to the next. Okay, now here we have clip-on pendants. 
so these are clip-on earrings uh, with the roller skates, very 80s vibes, very disco, late 70s, early 80s. Metal and strass, gold, pearly white and crystal. The pearly white refers to, pardon me, whatever is pearlescent. So the white wheels in this case. Uh, it's a novelty piece, it's whimsical. It's not enough for me to warrant collecting these because they're not Chanel. Like, it's fun that they made, and I think Chanel did these already in the past, not as earrings, but as actual um, roller skates. Like, it's a fun, typical for their cruise collections, they do these like whimsical, they go a little bit more whimsical for their cruise collections in general than for the other collections. But the, ro the roller skates in particular, it's not giving me major Chanel vibes, but there's going to be more roller skates to come. However, uh, $1,650, you know, they're clip-on earrings. Imagine here, imagine me having a roller skate hanging chunky off you. Somebody said in the chat, yeah, Quantum Storm says Moschino vibes. Exactly. I would feel more comfortable wearing these if they were Moschino than if they're Chanel. You know what I mean? Like, I, I find like it needs its own place in fashion. I'm not saying per se roller skates as earrings is terrible. No, you know, um, not saying that. You know, if, if these were Betsy Johnson, I would wear them. Moschino, I would wear them. Chanel doesn't do it for me. I don't want this from Chanel. You know what I mean? Okay, moving on. These look terribly made. I think these are made in Italy by how they have inserted this enamel. I really don't. I mean, the glittery part here with all the little pinky glitter in the black, kind of cute. But I really don't like how this enamel is poured into here. And those double C's in gold, they look very wonky. This looks very, very, very cheap to me. Uh, stud earrings, they're not clip-ons, um, $650 plus tax. No. It, something about this doesn't work for me, and it's it's the enamel. It's the white enamel that... If this were completely gold without the white enamel, it maybe, maybe. May, may, oh, Timu vibes says quantum... Cute design, but messy execution. Messy execution. That's a good one, Carissa. Cheap price for, for Chanel. Well, no, I'm six fifty. We'll go. We'll go. Stud earrings, y'all. Metal. Probably brass, and then coated. You know, toned in gold. You're paying six fifty for brass, basically. So anyway, uh, Chanel condoms two pack six twenty five says Mika. Cha. So anyway, uh, moving on. Now, the star, you know, we're going to see the star quite a bit in this collection. Um, also, later on, be sure to check out my video of the Chanel Cruise 2023-2024 Los Angeles Hollywood bag review collection. You're going to see the bag, the star bag in that video. So be sure to check that video out as well. But here we go. Uh, the earrings. Um, this is a pendant earring. I love everything that has a holographic or hologram vibe to it. Very gem in the holograms. But y'all, we're with tax. We're around almost a thousand dollars after tax. Plastic, a bit of plastic dangling off of. This is a three hundred dollar earring, Chanel. Three hundred dollar earring at Chanel. This is not a three hundred dollar earring. This is a twenty dollar earring. Okay, this is a twenty. Not even. This is a ten dollar earring. But because it's Chanel, I would say this is a $300 earring, but never $875. So anyway, they look so cheap. It's five foot nothing. Yeah, Quantum Storm says. Very Claire's. It's giving Claire's. Uh, you get them in those gumball machines, says Kev. $35 at Club Monaco, says, gosh, get a laugh. They look so cheap, says uh, five foot nothing. <laughs> Pao says, I can't believe Chanel is selling resin earrings. What are they thinking? They've been selling resin for a while now. They have beautiful resin. 
I have some of the resin pieces, but I have some of the resin pieces from the past when the prices were not like this. This is insane. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, talk about novelty. Lace-up shoes where the heel lights up. Yes, they have LED lights in the heel. You, in there, you don't really see it from this picture, but on the inside of the heel, you push the button to turn them on or off, and then they kind of change color and glow. 3,475 dollars. Um, you know, this is kind of again like like roller roller skates, but also gives us a little bit of uh, ice skating shoe boot. I don't mind this tie up version for the boot. You know what I mean? It's giving me kind of old world vibes. But three thousand four hundred seventy five dollars for a whimsical turn on heel. By the way, Carl already did Chanel light up heels several times already several times he even did a really whimsical one in the 90s which was a light bulb the heel was an actual light bulb and you could turn on the light bulb on and off that was you know this we'll go we'll go uh anyway these look like skaters boots says angela oh my says mika three thousand four hundred seventy five dollars that's crazy for those andy says for walking the dog uh, then they better turn into skates as well, says Gloria, by the push of a button. Uh, William says, that way at night you can have them light up so you are easier to rob. We'll go, we'll go, especially in these times. Terrible choice. Moving on to the next photo. Let that sink in. It's a skateboard, Chanel. A skateboard for $8,500. After tax, you're, uh, what, nine, $10,000? Um, it's a skateboard Chanel. Like, older people who might be rich, who can afford this, they can't do skateboarding. <laughs> Not many. Uh, but, uh, you know, you could buy it, hang it up on a wall, I guess. Underneath it, it's all like Matelassé and has a Chanel logo underneath. But it's a skate. And again, Chanel has done the skateboard in the past for half the price, $8,500 for the lacquered wood skateboard. It's for hanging on the wall, I guess. Um, William says, skateboards, that you can get for 20-ish. <laughs> I'm older and with some change, mine, says Gosh, get a life. <laughs> Mika says, MS would sell a skateboard for like 2,000 LOL. I don't know how much, it depends. Um, Kev throwing shade at Pharrell Williams saying, Pharrell stealing these for his next Louis Vuitton collection. <gasps> I wake, wake, hey. Anyway, you can keep your skateboard, Chanel, or sell it to the nouveau riche who have no clue what's good for them, allegedly. Moving on to the next photo. Now, these uh, resin cuffs, they're kind of a cute moment, you know, 1,000, listen, <laughs> Linda. Back in 2005, which was the first cuff I contemplated buying, it was the collect 2004, 2005. It was the collection when they made the first, um, the first, uh, what's it called? Clutch, the music tape resin clutch, which I have in my collection. I have the black one. The Minodier, oh, the word was missing. They started doing these plexi, plexiglass, they call it resin um, cuffs. And they had a beautiful one with a music tape and kind of the tape pulled out and the tape that's pulled out of the music tape spelled out Chanel. Loved it. That thing was 350 euro. It was around $400. Okay. Same, same thing like this. $400. Fast forward to 2023. We are at $1,300. Nothing changed in the style of the cuff. I mean, it's a magnetic, it closes with the two magnets. If one of those magnets fall off, ciao. Uh, a cute design, you know, a little giving us a lot of pink, a lot of, you know, rosy Barbie vibes, very, you know, Chanel of the Virginie era. Um, 1,300, y'all, plus tax. 
resin. And the metal is literally the, the magnet that connects it and the little spring on the other side. The, the price is really become insane. Uh, cuff for the wrist, but it does look like a cozy, says Gloria. Washi tape. April says washi tape. Uh, Louis says it looks so cheap. I mean, it does look like 80s memorabilia. It just, I, I just don't see the justification of this price, okay? There's no material here to justify this price. You're literally, at this point in the game for Chanel, they're putting these prices because they're Chanel. Up until a couple of years ago, yeah, I could, I'm, I was that crazy person that would find a justification for the prices. We're now in this territory where literally Chanel is just shitting on us. And it's like, it's, I'm Chanel, so I'm charging you this money. I don't have to make a special product with a special material. I'm Chanel, so I'm charging you this price because I'm Chanel, period. That's it. That, that's where we're at because there ain't nothing simpler than this. Just saying. Okay. Still cute. Loving the pink details, but $300. Okay. Chanel. For Chanel standards, $300. Not a thousand three hundred. Moving on. Now here, when I saw these cuffs, I was like legally blonde or whatever, uh, Playboy bunny, and I thought usually when they have these fluffy things, it's usually rabbit fur. They did not care to even give, which is good. Hi, Pina, looking at you. A uh, fantasy fur. You see, again, we're back to that game, that marketing game that they play. When they don't want to say plastic, they say resin, um, right? And when they don't want to say poor, they say um, aspirational. They don't want to say acrylic. They say mixed fibers, right? They don't want to say plastic fur. They don't want to say faux fur. They don't want to say plush acrylic. No, they call it fantasy fur. Fantasy fur means it's fake fur. But they want $1,650 as if this were mink, okay? It's not mink. It's faux fur, uh, metal, so it's probably brass and glued on, <laughs> a glued on piece of plastic fur for 1650 Made out of Virginie's pink beaver, says Jizzes. Cha, okay. Moving on to the next one. I can't with y'all. All right, here we have another version of just a little bit, you know, the other cuff was a bit chunkier. This is a little bit slimmer. And it has the holographic Chanel spelled out, and it's a little bit more, <laughs> less expensive. $1,150 for this version of the cuff in resin. <sighs> Moving on. Exactly, Louis. Compared to Vivian Westwood, you can buy an entire outfit for $1,650, while at Chanel you can buy one cuff. Here is, uh, I guess, this is the same cuff from before, just a different angle. I just wanted to show you the interior, how it looks like, the black resin on the inside. And uh, the magnet is, on, uh, here is the magnet hiding in there. And on this side is the metal uh, spring. Okay. Anyway, a little close-up with more details of all of these extra added layers. Yes, probably whoever was manufacturing these, they had to put every one of these as a separate layer on the resin and then put the pour the resin on top and then polish it to make it become transparent. So yes, yeah, some work did go into this, but come on, not this amount of work. Moving on to the next one. Here is a thinner one for 825. This one's a steal. And, and how theft is going in, in the US, this one probably will be a steal uh, after the next break in allegedly. Uh, Chanel Roller Club. Okay, cute. But not that cute. Now, this one doesn't have a spring to open it up. This one is just fully round. So there's less that can break. So this one is maybe a little bit more practical, but it's very slim. So I don't know. Not for me. I'm more for the thicker ones. The girth matters. Size queen. Moving on to the next one. Cuff from another angle. We've already seen it. I just wanted to show you here how the double C works with the fluffy fur rolling underneath the double C. This doesn't do it for me, y'all. Just saying. Let me know in the comment section down below and thumb up the video. Moving on to the next. Cha. Okay. You know what? We'll go, we'll go. Like, if you're a fan of cars, cabriolets, the Barbie vibe, 
and Chanel and it's a brooch. 550 bucks. This again was one of those things that was around 400, 300 dollars in the past. You can do it. This is one of those whimsical collectible pieces, you know, you you borderline. It's still too much, but this is something where I would say if you really want something from this collection, this is the piece to get. It's a brooch. You can protect it. It's not gonna, it's not a ring, it's not gonna scratch up. No matter how big or small you get, the brooch always fits you. Size doesn't matter. If you really want something, you're just gonna. Sure, it's overpriced, but it's still something that will have a memory. You know what I mean? If you want a momentum from the collection, something to remember 10 years from now, like, oh, I got something from the LA Hollywood Chanel collection. Something like this, I would say, we'll go, we'll go. Okay, moving on, but still too expensive. <laughs> okay, now this, I mean, cha, this is embarrassing in my humble opinion. The mules, the laminated calfskin, pink, orange, and yellow, $1,800. So we're over $2,000 after tax. <sighs> I already know who's going to buy these and I already know how they're going to look wearing them. This is Miss Piggy. And only Miss Piggy. Everybody else who buys this is going to look like a wannabe Miss Piggy. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. Moving on. Again, uh, rollerblades, not my thing at Chanel. But if you really wanted a piece from the collection, we're at that brooch entry level price, $550 plus tax. The crystals are inside of the resin. They're not going to fall out, right? Because the resin is covering them. If you really wanted a moment to remember the collection from, this is the thing to get. I love the color combos, you know, love it. But again, roller skates, eh, price, eh. But if you really wanted a moment to remember this collection from, this and the car brooches, you know, it's cute, but it's not really Chanel. But whatever, like, we'll go, we'll go. Sure, why not? If somebody gifted this to me, I would wear it. For sure I would wear it but I'm not compelled to spend this money to buy it myself. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Love the colors though. Okay, here we go to the stars. So, so this one, Metal Resin Strass, I honestly, I, I'm a little bit torn with this one. It looks tacky, it looks fake, but it also looks interesting because the crystals are not outside of the resin, the crystals are inside of the resin. It has its purpose within this collection because it's all about the stars, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, all of the stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, you know, the, Sh the Chanel, it's the star Hollywood collection. I don't mind this brooch as, again, a memento, a mo like a memento, you know what I mean? Like. A, memorabilia of the collection, but not for this price. Okay, this is a $500 brooch. Still, this is, let me reiterate, this is a Chanel $500 brooch. This is not a Chanel $875 brooch. So, and they know what they're doing here. The price is higher for this one because they know that everybody's gonna want a star from the Chanel collection of this season. Uh, it's cute in a simple way, uh, says Carissa. Yes, I agree with you. Linda says, listen, Linda, that's cute, but not for $875, right? It's giving Sheriff badge. Just Joe, I do have the Chanel Sheriff badge from the Paris Dallas Metier Da collection from Karl Lagerfeld. I actually have one, and it was way cheaper than this. It was around a $300 mark, not $875. But that was 2014, or 2013, 2014. Moving on to the next. You know, I had to put the slingbacks in here uh, because I, I just do love Chanel slingbacks. I always will. I own quite a few of their slingbacks. Uh, just, I wanted to add these to this list because A, they're suede, and B, 
purple and dark purple. Love the colorway and love suede. It's quite rare to find these in suede. I do have this colorway in my private collection. I have this classic colorway in suede. Amazing, but I just wanted to make a note for all of y'all who are considering buying them in suede. Be careful, they stretch out. They are much softer than the classic goat skin or lamb skin. So mine are ginormous, actually. I have a lot of their slingbacks and tweed and different leathers and suede and uh, goat skin and lamb skin. And I can tell you, the suede is super comfy, super comfy, but it stretches here in the front quite a bit and your foot just kind of slides through a little bit more. So consider that if you're buying the suede, you might maybe want to go a half a size smaller just because it's suede. Now, don't take my word for it and then come for me later when it doesn't fit you, Linda, because maybe they've, maybe this is a different quality of suede and we know their leather at the moment is what it is. So I'm talking about the suede that I bought years ago. But just bear that in mind. And also don't forget with Chanel, you can always choose the width, B and C width as well of their shoes. But I really love this color combo. And yes, I would buy it. I would buy this. 1,075 doulas. We would not go, we'll go. But still borderline. I still love their slingbacks. I'm a sucker for their classic slingbacks. So anyway, there goes that. Next one. This is a slingback with a slightly thinner heel and they do have this little ankle strap. So this is a different version of a slingback and they do have the double C logo in the Gros Grand kind of sewn into there. You can see it also here a little bit. $1,150, it's a little bit more expensive. You can see how the heel is going a little bit towards the kitten heel that we're used to seeing from the original slingback that Coco originally designed back in the day when she was alive. Uh, and it's a little slightly lower heel than the other thicker heel slingback. For those people who have a little bit thicker, you know, ankle area here that tends to swell up if your circulation isn't the best, then this is not the best shoe for you. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. Moving on. And yes, ankle straps makes your, make your legs look shorter. Here we go. Nike looking sneakers attached to the roller skates. This is and in white as well as in black. This is a novelty piece. Price upon request means they cost over $10,000. So I don't know if these are 15,000, 20,000, I don't know. Break a leg, break a hip, break an ankle, break a, a whip. <laughs> so that price upon request, usually they place for stuff that's over $10,000 and up. Jesus says, I want to see Virginie Via in those. If you have to ask, you can't afford it, but I don't want it anyways, says love. Moving on to the next one. I just showed it to you because it's kind of a staple of this collection. All right, now hear me out on these. Mary Jane's with a tiny heel, laminated calfskin and gros grand pink, orange, yellow, and black. Now, it's the ankle strap that messes it up for me. But if we kind of, if this did not have the ankle strap and it was just this. Okay, no, it, it looks cheap. It looks, yeah, no. Although I kind of like that the heel is going outwards in the back. I don't know. There's something about this and the laminated color and the fade from the gold to the purple. I don't mind this per se. Like, Something about it is calling my name. The strap is not calling my name. The the $2,000 price tag is also not calling my name. And the laminated calfskin, honey. I fear that two steps in these, you bend your foot twice and it's going to crack, allegedly. So I would really be afraid to wear these because uh, of potential lamination issues. We'll go, we'll go. Uh, Kev is asking, is that a wedged heel? Very much. Ma ma matronly. No, I don't think it has a hidden wedge inside. I think it's just a little teeny tiny. Uh, yes, Teresa, I do think you are right. It seems as though this is a little tiny hoop 
and you might be able to take away the strap. You might. I am not sure though, as I have not seen these live yet. Now, if you could take the strap out, I might consider buying these even though they crack the lemon, no, $2,000, no. No, not gonna happen. I'm not gonna spend $2,000 on these. Don't forget, I am definitely more on my fine jewelry journey. You know, I got my platinum Chanel ring, you know, my Hermes. So for $2,000, you can get a gold ring at Chanel. You know, you could get something. You can, you can get actually fine jewelry for this money. You don't, you know, and not leather that's going to crack, fall apart, be consumed, used up, and not really wearable. And then it, it's going to look weird two years from now. You're going to be like, oh, it's very out of date. Bear that in mind as well. So anyway, moving on to the next one. Okay, now, hear me out, Linda. <laughs> the brooches, so the double C brooches are usually a no-go for me because they're always like the tackiest, right? But I like this one. Okay, this is one of those examples of a double C brooch that I would buy. Uh, I need to see the size. If this thing is this small, hell no. If it's this big, then maybe, because I'm love, if these stones are big, chunky crystals, if they're chunky glass or crystal stones, loving the pastel colors, loving the gold toned heart, metal. If, if this thing is substantial, because you see, they're not giving us the size of the brooch and the information here, right? Well, I have a sneaky suspicion it's a tiny one. But if this thing was big and the stones were big, then I, I would actually really like this one. I like it. I like this one. I love the pastel colors. I love that it reflects the light. It's very luminous. It's very light. I never like double C Chanel brooches. I only, I think I only have two in my collection. And you know, I have a collection. Uh, but I bought the Paris Shanghai Dragon Scale double C brooch from the Metier Da collection. And then I purchased from their London, Paris London collection back in 2009, 2010, that ginormous double C with the British flag in it, brooch that turns into a necklace. Those are the only kind of big, like double C brooches that I have. Everything else I have is more whimsical approach to their brooches, but this is a double C I would buy, given the right size. Price not so good. I like it. Oh, Johnny said Johnny like it a lot. So Terry likes it. Uh, don't the crystals fall out? No, just Joe, that's a good point. The crystals usually fall out, the tiny crystals fall out of the earrings. This is a bigger crystal. This should be set differently. When their crystals are bigger, usually they don't fall out. It's a different situation. If it's made in France, if it's made in Italy, we got a problem probably, allegedly. So anyway. The more information tab does not give you the size, by the way, just FYI. All right, moving on. Or maybe it does give you the size, but I didn't see it. Uh, here we got a resin. Again, we have that entry level price tag, $550. What is this? A planet, a disco, oh, it's a disco ball. Oh, it's not a, okay, it's a disco ball. Why a why a, a mustard colored double C for a, a disco ball double C? I, I don't I don't get the colorways. Like here, here is where I want to see a pink double C. I want I want this pink, you know, the, the Barbie. I want pink here. That's where that's where they or or this is where you the disco ball these little platelets should be in hologram, like a holographic disco. This should be holographic metallic. It's a disco ball. You're making everything holographic. Why don't you make the disco ball holographic? I don't get it. And then these little crystals, that, no. No, I don't like the color combo of this thing. This is like faux pas. So they should have done this better. Zoom better, zoom better. Okay, moving on to the next one. Um, Y'all, I know that these little things turn and it says Chanel Paris on. It's a key ring for $2,000, $1,750, but then you got to add tax. So we're close to $2,000 for a keychain. And yes, these are actual laces. It's laced. 
the little metal teeny tiny keychain shoe is laced and the wheels turn, allegedly. $1,750 plus tax for a keychain. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. 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 So it's not gold. It's probably brass and it's just gold toned. Just letting you guys know. So is it 24 karat gold? No, it's not. <laughs> it might be 24 karat gold plated, but it's brass underneath or palladium. I don't know what their base is, either palladium or brass. Um, Terry says they done lost their minds on that price. Yeah, this is just a key ring. Moving on. I have no words. This is so ugly. Uh, it's resin. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's acrylic. Okay. It's acrylic. It's an acrylic little basketball in white with a lobster class, a thousand fifty dollars for this key ring. It's a key ring. Yes, you can hang it on a necklace. Or, you know, you could have a girl. No. No, it's not a golf ball. It's a basketball. It's a white basketball. Uh, the joke's on you if you buy this. Sorry. To each their own. Moving on to the next one. Um... Oh, you like it, Quantum Storm? Girl, for a thousand of it, no. Save your money. Buy real jewelry. Uh, $1,850 for the long necklace and the sneaker hanging at the bottom of the necklace. And it has leather calf skin intertwined in the metal links. And yes, the laces are actually laced through the metal so after taxes, we're talking $2,000. I, I don't need to have a, a Chanel sneaker hanging off of a Chanel necklace. You see what I mean? For $2,000, I would rather purchase a vintage Chanel necklace, old school, if you can find it for $2,000 nowadays. <coughs> Pardon me. But I, for, you know, for this money, I would not fall for the FOMO to buy a to buy something seasonal that's going to look really outdated two years from now. For this money, I would go for a classic Chanel necklace. If you really want to spend this money, go for their classic glass pearl necklace or buy a vintage with a Maltese cross or something, but not, not this for that money. Next. Here is the short version of the necklace without the intertwined leather. It's more of a choker size, a little bit longer than a choker, depending how thick your neck is. $1,600, chunkier thing here, metal and resin, gold and black. You can see the laces through the... This is a joke. Sorry. No. Moving on. And here is the pendant necklace with the basketball. Uh, and by the way, these little uh, metal links, these necklaces, this is very, very, very thin metal. Okay. And then the ball attached to a thousand. This, for Chanel prices, this should be a $600 necklace. Okay. Less than half of this. This is insane. This, it's just, it's, it's offensive. It's offensive for what it is. <laughs> All of this is overpriced. Says Tef Music, uh, Teresa says it's something a teenager would wear. Right, but it's not necessarily something a teenager could afford. Take two zeros away. Ah, $18. Take the, take the comma away, right? Take the $18 at Claire's. Now we're talking. Well, that was a very long video. My apologies. If you have made it thus far into the video, thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, let me know your thoughts and prayers about this collection down below. Did you buy something from it? What would you buy? We'll go, we'll go, or nothing? Let me know. Love you loads. Subscribe. Until next time, never give up. Bye. Bye.